sign of Harry? Not yet. Ran into a speed bump. I think Miles just saved my life. What? What happened? There was symbiote left inside of me. It started taking over, but Martin Lee gave me his power. It feels different. Like the voices are gone, but the power is still there. That's incredible. MP, just wanted to let you know. I got my byline pulled off that article. And gave my landlord notice. Does that mean? It means the world is going to get turned into an alien wasteland. One sec. How about a timeout? Don't worry. I'll get you to an ambulance in no time. Oh my god. Thank you. We're almost there. will take it from here. Bless you, Spider-Man. Sorry, sorry, I know. So, where were we? It means... the world is gonna get turned into an alien wasteland. There's no one I'd rather be gooed up with than you. Ah, The feeling's mutual! <laughs> Keep an eye out for Harry. I'll let you know if I hear anything. Okay. While I look for Harry, I should see what else needs some Spidey help. Updates. Just found a fascinating research blog from a top Morningside professor. She's calling the creatures we're seeing throughout the city symbionts because they live symbiotically with their host. Folks, this is scary. This is real. But keep courage. Check the description for a map of shelters throughout the city and evacuation plans for the elderly and high risk. Spider-Men are out there fighting for us, but we gotta keep meeting them halfway. We'll get through. Better check out that nest. Ready for some grim dark. Hmm. 
Let's clean this place up. Can't let up! Gotta save these people! Trying to move the gallery pieces when they attacked. That artwork may be valuable, but not as valuable as your lives. Stay safe. Dr. Connors? Hello? He's here in my lab. Gotta call Miles and get over there quick. Miles, meet me at Connor's lab. I think Harry's there, and it doesn't sound good. On my way. Should be a shortcut to Connor's lab near Central Park. I've gotta find a way to get through to Harry. He's in there. I know I can reach him. Just hope he doesn't hurt Connor's. was rough. Hello? Anyone here? This is Black Cat. Stay in control, Pete. You can do this.
Nest. Time for the city to start healing. to do with that thing I think we're about to find out you need to know Harry's gone host and symbiote are perfectly fused I'll find a way to save him you can't but you can still stop the symbiote how by killing the host Please, save my boy. I know you're seeing what I'm seeing right now. We've got a lot of New Yorkers being attacked by these things.
symbiotes are attacking those shoppers. <laughs> Civilians are in trouble. I'm coming! That bus won't last much longer. Stay calm, everyone. I can handle this. It's not safe. If you don't have a place to go, feast is open to anyone. You always come through, Spidey. Miles, we have to talk. No kidding. There are nests popping up everywhere. I'm sending you coordinates now. Got it. Watch yourself out there, man. This is something else. Huh? Harry, I'll find you, buddy. I'll find you. Somewhere. That suit's not an alien, is it? <laughs> it's time for a Miles Morales original, you know? One of one. <laughs> it looks good. <sighs> what happened, man? Harry got the meteorite. I, uh... I couldn't stop him. Connor said we can't save him, so we have... I can't lose him, Miles. I can't do this again. I saw May when I was... in your head. It's not your fault, Pete. She wanted to save you. To save all of us. She never thought about herself. Even when she was struggling to breathe. If May... my dad... If they were here, they would want us to stop thinking about them. They'd want us to help people. To fight. Harry's still in there. And we're gonna fight like hell to get him back.
call the play coach. <laughs> Let's split up. Cover more ground. You find the meteorite, I'll clear that nest out. You got it, Spider-Man. Down begin. Looks like that scares you, huh? I must be onto something important for you to try to defend yourself like this. Turn into symbiotes. You are safe here. Everyone you love is safe here. My head. I have to find a way out. Why would you leave? We are here. You can be too. You, Peter, us. This isn't where I belong, Harry. Neither do you. Come on, Miles. Come on. Let us heal you. Bring us 
Haley's in trouble. Pete, I saw the meteorite. It's under the Harlem subway station, next to the bridge. Heading there now! Wait for me, though, man. Harry, he's after you. I have to go help Haley, but just wait, all right? Whoa, whoa, back up! What happened? I got sucked into the high pine. Saw this vision of the meteorite underground. But I've got a bad feeling. You think Harry's there? I'm serious, Pete. You just give me ten minutes. You cannot do this alone. Right. Call me when you're done. Sorry, Miles, but I can't waste any time. There's the subway entrance. Miles has to be right. That's where the meteorite is. I just have to clear out this bridge. Everyone stay in your cars. I won't let them hurt you. Harry! Venom! I know you're here! You found us. Yes! I'm here, buddy! Hello. I know! Just hang on! I'm coming! Tunnel. The meteorite has to be underground. Venom! Please talk to me! I have to get underground. I can't leave these people behind. Subway tunnel. Hey, everything all good with Haley? Not yet, but you still owe me a few more minutes. Hang tight. Haley, no. What are you doing here? I was... I was trying to save... <sighs> You're incredible. I, I like you so much, and I think you like me. Do you want to go out? Hey, on a... Date? <laughs> Is that a yes? <laughs> well, it's a date, Ben. After all this is over. I'm 
on the way. Pete? Harry! Hey, it's Harry. Leave a message. Hey, buddy. I talked to Dr. Connors. He says you're too far gone, but I know that's not true. Harry, I messed up. It was terrible to you. Your dream, our dream, healing the world. I'm sorry. Seeing a rock. No? Hold on. I'm nearly to you. Thanks for coming, Pete. We want to show you something. Harry, what are you? We are healed. Finally free. <laughs>
MJ, we all need to meet up at May's house. What's going on out there, guys? It's the meteorite that the symbiote arrived in. He's using it to transform the city. I know where it is. And we're gonna steal it. Time to game plan. I'm in. See you guys at home. I implore you, stay inside your homes, lock the doors, board the windows, trust no one. The city is overrun with a miasma of massive, oppressive tendrils emanating from the ground beneath our feet, spawning creatures from what feels like hell itself. They're capturing us, converting us, and will soon overtake us. Don't give them the chance. While the government sits on its hands, my loyal listeners have taken to the forums, looking for any signs of weakness these creatures show. We will defend ourselves. We know we can't count on the Spider-Men to save us. If this last week's events have proven anything beyond a shadow of a doubt, it's that the heroes make things worse, not better. In the meantime, stay safe. Remain vigilant. We will get through this. New York does not go down without a fight. I Godspeed. Central Park Reservoir. The water system. Pumping goo everywhere. Adding more and more people to the hive mind. If all those symbiotes get out of Manhattan. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, planet goo. The meteorite is the source of all the power, right? Creating goo, creating symbiotes. But it was useless until Harry repaired it. Yeah. And that particle accelerator is what damaged it in the first place. Cut off a piece at low power. Right, so what if we crank the power up? Like way past 11. Might destroy it. And free everyone connected to the hive mind. Theoretically. But that reservoir's gotta be mobbed with symbiotes. And you know Harry's not gonna let that rock out of his sight. Unless he sees something he wants more. Me. Just, you know, for illustrative purposes. Harry's still Harry. He thinks he's healing the world. But the dream isn't complete without... His best friend beside him. I can lead Harry away from the meteorite. And I can handle all the symbiotes. While I... Grab the space rock for illustrative purposes. All right, fire up the accelerator. No more hive mind. World saved. We all get churros? Theoretically. Pete, what Connor said about Harry being too far gone. If you can't save him, are you We'll come to that. You two will be able to destroy the rock in time. Let's heal the world. For real this time. <laughs> so the meteorite is somewhere in that thing? So are Harry and his friends. Here. I figured you could use a sonic touch. They're just standing there. What are they waiting for? Look, I can't thank you both enough for everything. Come on, bro. We're the spider team. Don't anyone forget it?
Hey, buddy! You gonna sit in there and play with your pet rock all night? It's you and me, Harry. Like we always wanted. me first. Meteorites connected to the rest of the hive. Just a normal rock. I can also end the world. Get out of here! 
meteorite. Feels alive. Plus one isn't invited to our high school reunion, Harry! Yeah. <laughs> 
do to me? I'm never gonna heal the world with you! Not like this! The meteorite. You took it from us!
You're not doing this for Pete. You're doing this for yourself. You took him away from us. Took him away? What the hell are you talking about? We remember what you did. Harry! Man, that's the symbiote talking, not you! You were jealous. That's why you pushed us apart. Maybe I was, but Pete wasn't Pete. You think you're better than us, don't you? This ain't about who's better. I just prefer you without the psycho alien on. I clipped his wings! <laughs>
done. Either way, P. We still have time? No, we don't. It'll kill them. And then it'll kill you. Let's heal the world, P. Together. some room. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I gotta try.
pulse is weak. We gotta move. What have you done? What have you done to him? I'm so sorry. I'm coming with you, wait. There are traces of brain activity, but his chances of coming back are very slim. Just keep him alive. Get the G serum ready. ASAP. For the last few years, tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. But we somehow kept going. We battled sickness, evil, Cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed, numb. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But what about you? In this ongoing series, I will be talking with people throughout the city, exploring our new behaviors, new routines, new thoughts and feelings. I hope you'll join me on this journey. This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. Episode one, done. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, are these good to go? In a minute, I want to show you something first. Okay. It has molasses in it. Yum, I'll take those. <laughs> Thanks again for the donation, Peter. Have you talked to Miles about? Not yet. <sighs> 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 
You ready? Uh, Miles. I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about something. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you all, all the time. It's, it's, it's great uh, to talk. So many good talks. Uh, I just haven't been talking to you about what I should have been talking to you about. Pete. Uh, wait, uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. Go be Peter Parker for a while. Are you, are you sure it's, it's a big city? I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. <laughs> Maybe not now, but there'll come a time. I'm here for you, always. Hey, bro. What do you want? The Spider-Men. You know who they are, don't you? Why? They ruined my son. We all have to experience loss. Even you, Norman. What are you writing? The final chapter.
Hi. I hope you're hungry. Food's almost ready. Why don't you go show her your essay? He worked so hard on it. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Some guy in Harlem probably seen him volunteering in the city, helping out his city council mom, and trying to live up to his hero dad. Yeah. This is Albert. Uh, hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, and uh, <laughs> this is my daughter, Cindy. What's up, New York? Welcome back, Dana Club. We did it. We survived the impossible. Drove back a friggin' alien invasion. And we did it together as heroes. Spider-Man led the way, and every day New Yorkers rose to the challenge. <laughs> been the longest week ever. MJ. Hey, just wanted to let you know you got a package here at the house. Okay. I put it in the garage for you. It's from Norman Osborne. Oh, interesting. Thanks for letting me know. Break time's over.
what's this? Lance and a thumb drive? They say you should never plug in a drive of unknown origin. But I'm no Norman, I think. because I knew when we got through this crazy time, whenever we got through it, I wanted you to have these. And I wasn't positive I'd be here to give them to you myself. <sighs> Harry. After the Emily May Foundation was destroyed by Craven's hunters, I went to see what I could recover before it got boarded up. In the box, you'll find a piece of bark from my mom's tree and one of May's blossoms. And I thought, if you gene splice them together, you might get a hardy enough plant to produce seeds. Wow. Well, okay. I knew you could do it, Pete. Now, you know those little bee drones we salvaged from the field studies? We just leveraged their relocation data sets to plant those seeds around the city. You're some kind of genius, Harry Osborne. Let's get those bees working. I know, I know. It'll be years before we see the results. And who's to say where you and I will be a week from now, let alone years from now? Which is why I did this simulation to show you. So Emily and May will live on in the city and, of course, in us. I love you, Pete. I really do. And I know the Foundation didn't end up going the way I'd hoped, but there's still no one I'd rather have tried it with. I bet by the time you get this, we'll have already started a new Foundation. Just me and you. From scratch. Go us. Go us. something for you. We're in good health. Love you. the change in the air. It's fresh and clean. A new day for this world. Staring down the face of the apocalypse offers a new perspective on life. Time to let go of old grievances. Rearrange priorities. While the world waited with bated breath to see if they would be next. New York stood tall and held the line. We didn't... <laughs> <laughs> 
I've got this! Get clear! Where'd those symbiotes come from? That's all of them. 